Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new, <laughs> oh, I don't really know. It's meant it's cold out there. I want a divorce. <laughs> hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, this is my husband Mauricio. Say hi, there, folks. Today we are doing a collab put on by my YouTube BFF, Kelly, over at Freedom in a Budget. She and her husband, Jamie, just got married and they are combining their finances. And so she asked us to get together and give us our tips and advice as to the best ways to combine finances. And so I thought I would bring my lovely husband on today so he could give his two cents about combining finances from his perspective. I don't have two cents. Yeah, I don't have two cents either. So my first piece of advice is, and Kelly actually already knows this, but you need to figure out if your husband is a nerd or free spirit, a spender or a saver, or a budget leader or follower. Nerd and free spirit, those are Dave Ramsey terms. Are you the one that handles the money? Do you think in terms of money? You are not a nerd, honey. Not even a little bit. You are about as free spirit as they come. I let you handle the budget for three months. Three. Three. And how did that go? Awesome. Awesome. Lead. Yeah, whenever the account got below like $300, you'd just move more money over. So, nerd and free spirit, Dave Ramsey terms. Are you a spender or saver? Is that, what's your nature? And then when I say budget leader, leader or budget follower, it kind of goes into the nerd and free spirit concept. But who in your relationship is going to do the actual paying of the bills? Or are they inclined to? Because if you're inclined to pay the bills and they're inclined to pay the bills, then maybe splitting the bills is good. If not... One of you might be inclined to pay the bills and the other one not. Don't pick up that phone. The second piece of advice, stop trying to get your phone out of there. <laughs> the second piece of advice I have for you is determine how many bank accounts you will need. And less is more. Do not have, we have, no joke, nine, now eight Having a lot of bank accounts complicates your life, especially when his paycheck goes into one and yours goes into another. And if, if legitimately, if we could do it all over again, I would close all of our bank accounts and open new ones in his and my name and start from scratch. Seriously, because it's a pain. My next suggestion is get out of the my money, your money talk. Yeah. Absolutely, you got married, combine your finances. It is all our money. And when I speak uh, about our budget, it never do I say my budget, their budget. In fact, it, it's just not the way we speak anymore. Because truthfully, if you start thinking, well, I earn this much money, I deserve to be able to do this. You're never going to reach your financial goals as a couple. You have to combine your finances. I, I mean, we have friends that didn't combine their finances and they're fine, but they're not working together as a team when it comes to money. I don't get that, that, uh, that you married and then you, your finances, uh, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, you married, you, you sleep together, you live together, you have children. So what is so different about finances? I think it's crazy. I mean, I'm, I don't want to judge people but uh, that's my own opinion so the next piece of advice and I know this is one Kelly is dealing with um, determine where your spouse is with budgeting and do not push too hard to get them on board with your plan I kind of always viewed it when we first got married the concept we we went to FPU very early on in our marriage and you were not ready to do a budget. Oh, no. No, no. That's a different story. It's like it comes with being a free spirit. It's just not keeping track of your money basically. Oh, basically, yes, some sort of um, keeping track like how much do I have in my bank account and how many days until I get paid again. That's what, That was my budgeting. That, the thing about budgeting is, is a big thing and, and I think it needs to be done together. You both are on the same page and know how much money comes in, how much goes out, how much 
it's available for you to do whatever you want to do. But uh, yes, and do you doing it together because you uh, it, there was a time where you were budgeting, but I just didn't. I wasn't aware of it. Like we didn't have budget meetings and then talk about this is what we have, this is blah 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 blah. But it made, because then that's when I was spending money, didn't tell you about stuff that I needed, you know that kind of stuff. So that's what I, I did. That uh, during the month you have those. Uh, expenditures mm -hmm. um, that uh, that you didn't know about and it kind of screwed your budget. So, yes, if you wanna if you wanna do the budget, do it together. <laughs> do you think budget meetings are necessary? Yes. Do they have to be a formal meeting? No, it doesn't have to be formal. Just no. I think our best budget meetings are like when they're off the cuff and hey. Be find the best moment. Don't don't try to do your budget meeting when you guys are fighting. No. Or having a bad day. Never no. have a budget meeting when somebody's in a bad mood. So try to like hey, like live like don't live like we're gonna have the budget in this day no matter what. No, because you don't know what's gonna happen today. So what I would do is just okay, we're gonna have the budget meeting. It has to happen between Monday and Friday and such week. You just. Uh, you need to find the, the right moment to do it. Well, and I will tell you, our best budget meetings happen, like, on the fly. Legitimately, when we plan out a budget meeting, we have them like that for sure. But our best ones are very casual and like, hey, let's talk about, like, our Christmas budget meeting. That wasn't even a budget meeting. Mauricio didn't even realize we were having a budget meeting. I knew. So, and for Mauricio, getting... <laughs> For Mauricio, getting rid of Excel was a huge game changer because when I would show you the budget in Excel, like your eyes would glaze over and roll back in your head. But once we started using every dollar, it it really made, made it very easy for you to understand when in reality every dollar is just like a high tech Excel spreadsheet, in my opinion. I, I have recommended when you first get married to somebody, if your, your spouse is used to to going out for lunch with his coworkers every single day of the week. Don't try and change that the first month you're married. In fact, don't even try and change that the first six months you're married because, oh my goodness, the first year of marriage is hard. You're learning to live with someone new. You're learning all sorts of oh, things. <laughs> but trying to change financial behaviors is hard so i would not i mean me personally i wouldn't recommend it i would actually kind of ride that first year and then feel each other out and find out what their financial goals are hopefully you've talked about them before you got married it really helps it, 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 and it really works i mean finances combining finances and then uh, i know it was what i said earlier was kind of harsh but uh, it actually helps especially when you're doing it you know trying to get out of debt and all of that it helps a lot and being on this, it takes time. It takes time to be on the same page. It's, it's not like, oh yeah, let's do it. No, believe me, it's not. And it's not easy. It's like trying to like, quit smoking or something like that. It, it takes time, it takes patience, it, it takes... And, and I think the most important thing is that you actually need to like want it. Like, we really want to do this. We really want to get out of there. And that will, and that like, one of the things that helps us, us is like, planning for the future like once we are there out of there this is how much money we're gonna have for it and we can do this much and we can do this and we can buy that and we can have the dream house well, sort of um and this this and that i mean i don't think there's nothing wrong with uh motivating yourself or like encouraging yourself with that kind of stuff because that because thinking about it like setting goals that is important because then you you're just not doing it just because oh i want to get out of there no it's because you want to you want to get some you want to reach a goal you want to you want to buy a house in the neighborhood that you like. You want to buy cash. Well, not a house, but a car. Or go on vacation. And that kind of stuff. You know, and it doesn't have to be like stuff like that. But just set goals. That it will help with getting those combining finances. It's not easy. Believe me, it's not easy. Especially when, mm -hmm. in my case, when I didn't have any debt. And then you meet your spouse and she brings like $200,000. <laughs> Yeah, um, if you don't know our backstory, I'm going to point you to no. a video right up here in the eye in the sky. Anyway, so, um, yes, I, I thought um, it does really work. Do you think budget meetings are necessary? Yes. Do they have to be a formal meeting or can it be a conversation I mean, we, that you and I have? Like we do it like naked in the bed, that kind of stuff. <laughs> So he could give his two cents about combining finances from his perspective. I don't have two cents. 
Yeah, I don't have two cents either. I got millions. Millions? Millions of pieces of dust? My channel, make sure you click on my big lacking. Lacking. Lacking face. <laughs> lacking. Why does your face lacking? <laughs> do is just okay we're gonna have the budget meeting it has to happen between monday and friday and such way and then uh and then you find the perfect moment and you do it whenever like after sex <laughs> so the next one i came up with are you gonna participate i have are participated you, are you just gonna make jokes i'm just giving you moral support come on you can do it so mauricio do you have any recommendations for kelly and jamie oh really they're doing great didn't you tell them, didn't you say that you want them to stop fighting? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they fight. At least not like we fight. We fight like Mexican Lucha Libre. <laughs> Lucha Libre. <laughs> That's like Mexican, what, what's WWF, basically, is what Lucha Libre is. I'm sure everybody knows what Lucha Libre is. I would be willing to, if you know what Lucha Libre is, Give me a comment down below because my guess is you don't. That is just insulting. You, t I mean, what? Are you? No, you don't know. This. Okay, we are going to take an opinion poll. If you know what lucha libre is, leave well, us now a comment. No, well, before if you knew. It okay. If so, let me rephrase that. If you knew what lucha libre is, leave me a comment down below. And if you didn't, leave me a comment down below too because. I say that it's not as common as you think it is, and you say it's super common. And Wendy should always be right. That's your first, your first advice. <laughs> that's your first advice. Your wife is always right. So my first... If you don't, it gets complicated. That's true. So my it first... It complicated. So my... I'm going to hurt you. Shut up. You see? That's what I'm talking about right there. It's going to hurt me. <laughs> it's going to be a flying body slam is what it is. If we could do it all over again, I would close all of our bank accounts and open new ones in his and my name and start from scratch. Seriously. Because it's a pain. I would have done it differently too. How would you have done it? What? How would you have done it? What? Tell me. How about what? <laughs> you wouldn't have married me, would you? What? I'm just kidding. I know. I'm going to hit you when this is all over. Well, thank you for joining me today, Mauricio. I was forced. It's like I didn't have a choice. I know. That's the hazard of being married to me. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one. And this one down here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.